okay recently i have got a comment from shafnim okay and you can pause this video to read about the comment but i just would like to summarize his comment he has asked me that in pipe rack the longitudinal beams are pinned connected okay or you can say that moment are released so basically there is no moment at the base along the longitudinal direction of the pipe rack okay so the base plate is considered as pinned along this longitudinal direction it's true okay but along the transverse direction the beams are moment connected so at the base there will be some moment okay correct so his question is how this pinned base carry this moment that is coming along the transverse direction okay so people starting this video if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited okay so at the very first let's try to visualize sapnil's comment okay so this is a pipe rack typical pipe rack real example and it's the line diagram and you know that in this this is the long direction and this is the transverse direction so along this longitudinal direction all these beams are pin connected okay so as these beams are only pin connected to carry any type of lateral load we provide this bracing correct and as these are pin connected this base this base all these base are considered as pinned or shear connected column base along this long direction right and if you consider this transverse direction these beams are moment connected so in this base there will be moment along this transverse direction okay so before discussing about how the base plate should be designed or how the base plate uh, encounter this transverse moment as well as this lateral load let's understand about the shear connection and moment connection if you familiar with this shear connection moment connection as i have told this many times in my videos you can simply skip it to save your time so in moment connection try to understand first in you know if this is the i section and if you draw the stress strain diagram for bending moment you know this is the stress strain diagram and the majority of the stresses are accumulated in this flange zone so it is assumed that all the moment are converted into tension and compression and this tensile and compressive forces are carried solely by the flanges of the i section okay so to form any moment connection what you have to do you have to simply connect this flange okay with the supporting member so here if this is the column if this is the beam in that case to make this connection a moment connection what you have to do you have to connect this flange with the flange of column as simple as that okay so in this picture you can see here to connect this flange we have used this arrangement here also you can see that to connect this particular flange we have used this four number of bolt okay at the end plate here also you can see these flanges are connected with the flange of column so it's clear to you what is moment connection now let's understand about the pin connection or shear connection as you know that the shear stress distribution of any i section is something like this okay so this is the wave region of the i section correct so you know that all the wave part is basically carrying the majority of the stress coming due to shear force so it is assumed that if you are supposed to transfer this load through shear action from this beam to this column it's sufficient to use the wave only that is why here we have connected the wave part only you can see that the flange is free here also and at the bottom also the flange is free so whenever you will find the shear connection you will find that this flange are not at all touching the flange of the column or the supporting member only the wave part is connected like this here is also you can see that the flange are actually free they are not touching but the wave part is connected correct so the basic idea behind the moment connection and shear connection is clear to you 
now come to the base okay so basically this is the base plate and this is the column sometime you will have only vertical load and sometime you will have a moment along with this vertical load okay so if we consider this base along this long direction okay you will get this this is the long direction okay so along this long direction there is no moment or you can say that about the minor axis of this this is the minor axis of the column there is no moment why because along the long direction all the beams are pinned connected okay so about this minor axis there is no moment so as there is no moment about this minor axis we don't need to think about the connection of flanges or you can say we don't need to think about any flange at all because as there is no moment we do not need any flange about this minor axis that is why it is like this there is no minor axis we will carry the moment but if you come to the trans direction this is the trans direction and here this trans direction is let me use some different color let's say for the trans direction i am using this blue color okay so this trans direction is translated here like this okay so this is the trans direction so you can see that the moment which is coming from trans direction due to the moment connection in these beams these are the beams these moments are applied in this column about the major axis okay so this is the major axis clear so these moments are applied about the major axis of this column so if you apply the moment about the major axis of the column let me erase all these things okay so now this is the major axis and now you are applying a moment that is coming from this side okay so due to this moment you know that in any i section if there is bending moment the stress strain diagram something like this okay so this is the tensile part this is the compressive parts and the moment is like this okay so here also if this is the moment here is the compressive force is acted and here is the tensile force because the moment m is converted into a tension and compression these values are simply moment divided by the lever arm or the depth of the column okay so to carry this tensile force this flange must need to be connected with the base and it is connected now the tensile force is transferred to the base plate now who will transfer this tensile force from this base plate to this foundation and for that you need to use some extra bolt like this at the outside of the flange at the outside of the flange so in this side also this is true here in the inside the bolts are already there so you need to put some extra bolt at the outside of the flange this is the outside of the flange to carry this tensile or compressive force due to this moment okay now i think sapnil has found his answer but still if it is not clear to you my kind request to you please go to the playlist and watch this particular video where i have dedicatedly put some video based on your pinned base and moment base hope you will enjoy this video also thanks if you love this video don't forget to share it